Hello, my name is Paul D. Miller, and I'm going to tell you today. I'm going to tell you why the Farfisa Compact is better than any other instrument that exists in the world. The world, except maybe the Moog. Nah, it's better than the Moog because you can do this. Paul, how does it work? You may not be asking. Well, these are the different stops available to you, the organist. Bass. Strings. Flute. Oboe. This is my favorite, the trumpet. Foot stops. Those sounds are well and good if you're trying to make sensitive man music, but what if you're an awful person, like myself, able only to express your frustrations through increasingly irritating sounds? Then what you need is multi-tone booster. Multi-tone booster. So what is the secret of Farfisa? Why does it sound that way? What the hell were they thinking when they designed it? So we're about to look at the output of one of these generator cards on the oscilloscope. So what you're seeing right now are the raw generator outputs for one note. Each card, there's 12 cards, one for each note, and each one gives you four or five harmonics. It's much the same as any other organ, but instead of giving you lame-ass square or sine waves like every other organ, Farfisa gives you these weird pulse waves. Because instead of using flip-flop circuits, they used non-re-triggering, monostable, multi-vibrator circuits. Probably they were the only people stupid enough to actually do this. And look, free pulse width modulation with a vibrato an unintended consequence so that's what you get from the multi-tone booster the raw waveforms but probably with even more treble boost or something because Farfisa were a bunch of sociopaths This concludes your tour of the Farfisa organ. Except no substitutes. Farfisa, it's everywhere you want to be.